What's up y'all and welcome back to the channel. Today, you know, I'm just gonna go over a couple of little pro tips for, you know, getting ready for a date, getting ready for a date night, getting ready for a night out on town, getting ready for a sneaky link, whatever the fuck it may be that you into. We finna go over a couple tips to make that shit run a whole bunch smoother. And of course, I follow these on tips myself. I do. Cause I, I got my own little shebang going today. So of course, I'm gonna give y'all a real motherfucking spiel. Um, the proper procedures, protocol, and pro tips for when you have a sneaky link or a hot date. Let's get into it. So tip number one. Tip number one is the most important tip, which is why it's a tip number one. Make sure that you brush and floss and use mouthwash in your fucking mouth before this date or before your link because breath is just like number one, especially on my list. I'm not going to go around nobody with no stacking ass breath and I really don't want nobody around me with no stacking ass breath. It is important to make sure that you floss before you, you can, I, I like to brush my teeth, floss, then brush my teeth again and then use mouthwash because when you don't floss, you have bacteria and food stuck in between your teeth. And that is where damn near 98% of the bad breath comes from. Not just your tongue, but your fucking teeth. Tip number two, make sure that you shower before your link or your date. Showering and making sure that you're clean and well groomed, and I don't necessarily mean you gotta go full ball kitty or full ball dingle. You know what I mean? You don't gotta be fucking ball head, but make sure that you trim and you you're clean and well washed and deodorized, because how you smell also plays in a it's in effect with everything. Because you don't want to go smelling like a hot fucking mess because then she's not going to want to link with you. Or he's not going to want to link with you. So make sure you take that time to wash your ass and wash it good. Shave those pits. Wax, wax that coochie. Anything you got to do to smell good, make sure you're fucking doing it. Please. Tip number three, baby. Tip number three is it's, it's about what you wear. So if you're going on a nice little casual date... You know, let's say y'all going on to a fancy restaurant or something. It's important to wear fancy clothes or more formal clothes. You don't want to be looking like no fucking hoe going to a fancy ass restaurant where the ballers is or the rich folks. You don't want to do that. So I would say dress appropriately. Cover up a little bit. It's okay to show a little a little cleavage, but don't have your ass poking out, you know. Just just try to limit how much skin that you're showing if you're going on a classy formal date. If you're not going on a classy formal date and it's real, like y'all cool and y'all chilling, y'all just gonna go walk in the park, then put on something casual. You know, something that's not as revealing. But, you know, it's just like, hey, I got body, look at me. So, be mindful of what the fuck you wear on what date. Number four, make sure you moisturize. Put some Vaseline, some oil, or some fucking lotion on your assy ass fucking hands, ankles, and fucking legs. Please don't be walking out the fucking house ashy. And don't invite nobody to your shit ashy. I'm not saying that you have to use a scented moisturizer. But just make sure that your skin looks like butter. Feels like butter. You want to feel you want to feel smooth and soft because you know, let's say y'all get to that get to that base where y'all holding hands and you like, "Ooh, babe, your hands soft." Or or rubbing on your body. You don't want you don't want to have fucking reptile skin. Okay, because that's not attractive. It's not attractive to us women either that we got a whole crusty ass fucking hard working hands. Fix that shit. Because you, you done fucking scratch me the fuck up. Tip number five. Tip number five is set the mood. Like, I don't necessarily mean like set the mood as in like, oh, you got to light candles all in your house. But set the tone of the date. And what I mean by set the tone of the date is... How you approach the situation is the outcome that you're going to get. So if you approach very sexual, you're going to get very sexual intentions from your date. 
If you approach very calm, cool, and collected, it's going to run fucking smooth. I'm telling you, your intentions and what you're putting into the date or the link up, it's going to show. If you want to spend time with them, you know, you're just like, okay, we chilling or whatever case may be, then come with that chill attitude. But if you just DTF and you want to you wanna fuck, come with that attitude because it, it you don't want to miss, you don't want to perceive anybody the wrong way. Tip number six. Number six. This is for my females that are having issues with their down there area. And I'm not just saying like, oh yeah, bitch got an STD. I'm saying like, it, it might be your time of the month or, you know, you, you got a little, you got a little, little stank stank going on. Wash your pussy. Wash your fucking pussy. And if you ain't got time to wash, you know, do a little rinse up, get a baby wipe. Get up in there because I'm telling you, if you can smell it, they definitely can smell it. Or if any case, get you some um, deodorizer, some dry deodorant. Spray a little bit on your panties, you know, spray a little bit in your crotch area and go from there. But I highly re recommend that you wash your fucking coops. Tip number seven. And this goes for the men. If y'all going on a date... And, and you have intentions on dating her. Wait, don't don't be overly sexual. I understand, you know, you got a got a bad bitch across the table from you, whatever case may be. But you don't want to come off too strong sexually because that can affect how she views you and how the relationship is going to progress. So I'm also telling y'all, stop being so sexual. Set the mood correctly. Take the bitch on a fucking date. Stop, like. Like don't no bitch just want to eat fucking McDonald's cheeseburgers all day. Take her out if you if you see her being something more progressive than a, a link up or whatever case maybe put time and growth and thought into the date into the relationship and into how the fuck you come across. Tip number motherfucking eight, <laughs> and this is also important to me because I have OCD when it comes to certain stuff. If you're picking someone up for a date. Make sure your car is clean. Because if I see a french fry and then I see a cricket or a motherfucking roach eating on that french fry in your back seat, I'm going to block you. And not only your car has to be clean. If I'm coming to your house or we finna have a little sneaky link situation and you come into mine, make sure your fucking house is clean. Like seriously. like that, it, It's no reason to be fucking disgusted. We too grown for that. Make sure you wash your fucking sheets before we fuck on them. Make sure your house smell fucking good. Make sure you smell fucking good. And make sure you don't take out your fucking trash. The trash been sitting there for two weeks. Take the shit out. Clean your fucking shit Tip up. Tip number nine. And this is also a very important one. Because I don't know if you guys take it and it's like putting on a shit ton of cologne or perfume is going to make you appear more attractive or where the fucking case is be limit yourself to how much you're using too much you're gonna cause a bitch to have a motherfucking allergic reaction she can't breathe yeah you're, you're fucking with her asthma fucking with his asthma limit yourself on how much perfume or cologne you use because you don't want it to be too overpowering you want your date or a significant other to experience your natural pheromones you know you don't want to you don't want to mask that naturalness too too much and i find that women naturally smell pretty sweet so we don't we don't need to do all that just you know, a little spray here here and there you know but don't use the whole damn tip body. number 10 and this is probably just a tip for me and you know because i have a very big pet peeve but tip number 10 is if you're going to chew gum on a date, limit how much gum is in your mouth. Because if I hear you smacking, we're going to have a problem. Like you can you can suck on a mint, you know, while you having the conversation. But don't let that gum or that mint impede you from talking correctly. You know, because I don't want to. Yeah, what's up? No, nah, we don't have time for that. So <laughs> pop you in a little gum, chew a small amount of it. You know, just keep your breath fresh. You know, suck on a little mint, keep it right fresh, you know. But you don't, chewing on gum the whole fucking day, that's just not going to work. It's not. Because if your breasts think that motherfucking bad, you need to go home and brush. 
You need to go home and fucking well, wash. All right, y'all. That is all of my pro tips for sneaky link slash date night slash meet up slash whatever. You know? And I feel like the tips are pretty important to follow because it'll help the, the date run a little bit smoother if you're not doing too much. Like, enjoy yourself, be yourself, and just have fun. But anyway, y'all, you know, I just wanted to get a little video out for y'all today. So that's just a little bit something for y'all, you know, watch. But as far as the video, that's it. And, you know, I hope y'all have a great day. And hopefully y'all listen to my advice because I ain't been here this motherfucker. I don't want this motherfucker hurt not to know shit. But anyway, y'all, I'll see y'all later in the next video. And subscribe or like the fucking video. Bye, y'all.